The hull is the boat's personality, shaping not just how it looks but how it feels to be aboard, how it moves through the water, and how it responds to every wave and gust of wind. The hull is the very soul of the boat, the part that gives each vessel its unique character and style. When you look at a boat, the hull is often the first thing you notice, and it tells you a lot about what that boat is designed to do. Whether slicing cleanly through choppy seas or gliding smoothly across a glassy lake, the hull determines how the boat handles on the water. It's the difference between a thrilling, agile ride and a calm, steady cruise. The way water splashes against the hull, the sound it makes, and the wake it leaves behind, all are shaped by the hull's design. Just as a person's demeanor affects their interactions with the world, a hull's design dictates a boat's speed, stability, and comfort. A deep V-hull, for example, can cut through waves with ease, offering a smoother ride at high speeds, while a flat-bottomed hull provides unmatched stability for fishing or leisurely cruising. The hull is the silent partner in every adventure, quietly influencing every moment on the water. From the sleek, narrow racing yacht built for speed and agility, to the broad, sturdy fishing boat designed for comfort and stability, hull shape is the foundation of performance. Each type of hull is a result of careful engineering and years of experience, tailored to meet the demands of specific activities and environments. The differences may seem subtle at first glance, but they have a profound impact on how a boat behaves. Designers and naval architects obsess over hull forms, experimenting with curves, angles and materials to match specific uses and environments. They consider everything from the boat's intended speed and cargo capacity to the typical water conditions it will face. Every line drawn on a blueprint, every contour shaped in a model, is a decision that affects how the boat will perform in the real world. Some hulls are built for pure speed, slicing through the water. with money in the scanning. Quimmel resistance, while others are designed for maximum stability, able to handle rough waters without tipping or rolling. Catamarans with their twin hulls offer a unique blend of speed and stability, making them popular for both racing and leisure. Each hull type brings its own set of strengths and weaknesses, and choosing the right one is all about matching your needs and preferences. Efficiency is another key factor. Some hulls are optimized to use less fuel, making them more eco-friendly and cost-effective for long journeys. Others are designed to maximize space or provide a smoother ride in challenging conditions. But every design comes with trade-offs. A hull that's fast may not be as stable and one that's stable may not be as efficient or agile. Whether you're planning to cruise peacefully on a quiet lake with your family, race offshore at exhilarating speeds, or explore remote waterways, your hull choice will define your boating experience. It's the foundation upon which every memory on the water is built, shaping not just how you travel, but how you feel along the way. Next, let's break down the unique strengths and weaknesses of each hull type, so you can find the perfect match for your adventures on the water. When it comes to choosing the right boat hull, understanding the pros and cons of each design is essential. Let's start with flat bottom hulls. Imagine them as the skateboards of the water world fast, nimble, and incredibly stable when the water is calm. Their flat broad undersides allow them to glide effortlessly across still lakes and rivers, making them a favorite for fishing, hunting, or just cruising in peaceful conditions. Because they sit high on the water, they can access shallow areas that other boats simply can't reach. This makes them perfect for exploring hidden coves, marshes, or sandbars where the water is only a few inches deep. Their wide, flat surfaces not only make them ideal for shallow, tranquil waters, but also help them get up on plane quickly, which means they can reach higher speeds with less effort. This efficiency is great for short trips, and for those who want to maximize their time on the water without burning a lot of fuel. However, there's a trade-off. When the wind picks up or waves start to roll, flat-bottom hulls can become uncomfortable. They tend to slap against the water, creating a bumpy, sometimes jarring ride. So, while they're perfect for glassy lakes and slow-moving rivers, they're not the best choice for open water or rough conditions. On the other end of the spectrum, we have deep V hulls. These boats are designed with a sharp, pronounced V shape at the bow, which allows them to slice through choppy seas and rough water with ease. If you've ever watched a powerboat race across the ocean, you've seen the deep V in action, cutting through waves, providing a smoother, more comfortable ride, even when the water gets wild. The downside, deep V hulls require more power to get up on plane and tend to use more fuel. 
They also sit deeper in the water, which means they're not suited for shallow areas. But if you're planning to venture into open seas or frequently encounter rough conditions, the deep V is hard to beat. Then there's the semi-V hull, which offers a middle ground between the two extremes. With a moderate V shape, they nod or bar B, Bobin or Deans, the Demoder Bean, these boats handle choppy water better than flat bottoms, but still provide more stability than a deep V. They're versatile, making them a popular choice for boaters who want to enjoy a variety of water conditions without sacrificing too much comfort or performance. Whether you're cruising on a lake, navigating a river, or heading out into the bay, a semi-V hull can adapt to changing conditions, giving you confidence and control. Ultimately, your choice of hull depends on where and how you plan to use your boat. Are you sticking to calm lakes and slow rivers, or do you dream of exploring open seas and tackling bigger waves? Maybe you want a bit of both. Flexibility for different adventures. Each hull type brings its own strengths and weaknesses, so it's important to match your boat to your favorite activities and the waters you'll be navigating most often. Flat bottoms truly excel in still, shallow water, making them the go-to for anglers and explorers who love quiet, hidden spots. Deep Vs, on the other hand, are built for speed and comfort in the open ocean, where waves and wind are part of the adventure. And if you want a boat that can handle a little bit of everything, the Semi-V is your all-rounder, capable, adaptable, and ready for whatever the day brings. By understanding these trade-offs and thinking about your own boating style, you'll be able to pick the hull that's just right for your adventures, ensuring every trip is safe, comfortable, and fun. Dead rise, the angle of the hull's bottom, directly affects ride comfort and stability. High dead rise, found in deep Vs, cuts through waves for a smoother ride but increases drag and fuel use. Low dead rise planes easily and is efficient in calm water, but delivers a bumpier ride in chop. Some hulls use variable dead rise, sharper at the bow for wave cutting, flatter at the stern for speed. Matching dead rise to your boating environment is key to comfort and performance. Let's see how this interacts with other hull features to shape your ride. Displacement and planing hulls move through water in fundamentally different ways. Displacement hulls push water aside, offering smooth rides and stability at low speeds, ideal for trawlers and sailboats. Planing hulls rise and skim atop the water, reducing drag for speed and efficiency. Perfect for powerboats. Your choice depends on your priorities comfort and fuel economy for long cruises, or speed and agility for sport. Each hull type brings unique benefits and challenges, so match your choice to your boating style. Understanding these basics helps you select the right boat for your needs. Chinese, the lines where the hull bottom meets the sides, are crucial for stability and handling. Wide, flat Chinese boost lift and stability in calm water, but can slap and spray and chop. Rounded Chinese soften the ride and reduce noise, but sacrifice some lift and high-speed stability. Well-designed Chinese help boats grip in turns and stay stable at speed. Poorly designed Chinese can cause skipping or excess spray, hurting comfort and control. Knowing how Chinese affect your boat lets you fine-tune performance and ride quality. Hull maintenance is key to keeping your boat fast and efficient. Even a thin layer of slime increases drag, slowing you down and burning more fuel. Regular cleaning and waxing reduce friction, helping your boat plane faster and run smoother. Inspect for damage, worn Chinese or flexing hulls can hurt performance and safety. Prompt repairs and routine care are cost-effective ways to boost speed and efficiency. A clean, well-maintained hull means better performance every time you hit the water. When it comes to getting the most out of your boat, one of the most important yet often overlooked factors is the center of gravity, or CG. The CG is essentially the balancing point of your vessel, and its position has a profound impact on how your boat performs on the water. Whether you're aiming for faster planing, a smoother ride, or better fuel efficiency, understanding and adjusting your boat's center of gravity can make a world of difference. Ideally, the CG should be positioned just aft of the center of buoyancy. This means it sits slightly behind the point where the boat would naturally float if it were perfectly balanced. When the CG is in this sweet spot, your boat rides level, planes quickly and moves through the water with minimal resistance. This not only makes for a more comfortable experience for everyone on board, but it also helps you get the most out of every drop of fuel. However, if the center of gravity shifts too far aft, toward the back of the boat, the bow will rise excessively, especially during acceleration. 
This can make it harder to see over the bow, increase the risk of porpoising, and cause the boat to take longer to get on plane. It also increases drag, which means your engine has to work harder and burns more fuel. On the other hand, if the CG is too far forward, the bow will dip down into the water. This causes the boat to plow, or push water ahead of it, which not only wastes fuel but also makes steering sluggish and can lead to a wet, uncomfortable ride. Both extremes, too far aft or too far forward, can negatively affect your boat's handling, safety, and efficiency. The good news is that you don't need expensive modifications to optimize your boat's center of gravity. Simple adjustments, like moving gear, coolers, or even passengers, can have a significant impact. On smaller boats, shifting a heavy tackle box or cooler just a few feet can make the difference between a sluggish, bow-heavy ride and a smooth, efficient cruise. On larger boats, redistributing cargo or asking passengers to change seats can help fine-tune the balance. Even small shifts in weight can make a surprisingly big difference in how your boat handles. If you notice your boat struggling to get on plane, or if it feels like you're fighting the steering wheel, try moving some weight around. Experiment with different arrangements until you find the setup that gives you the best performance and comfort. Mastering center of gravity adjustments is one of the simplest and most effective ways to enhance your boating experience. With a little attention to balance, you can enjoy smoother rides, better fuel economy, and improved handling all without the need for costly upgrades or modifications. So, next time you're out on the water, take a moment to check your boat's balance and see how a few small changes can make a big difference. To optimize ride quality, start with the right hull for your waters and needs. Keep the hull clean and damage-free to minimize drag and maximize efficiency. Adjust weight distribution to keep the boat balanced and riding level. Regularly inspect and maintain your hull for peak performance and safety. Combine smart hull choice, diligent maintenance, and proper weight placement for the best ride. These simple steps unlock your boat's full potential on the water. Unlocking your boat's potential starts with understanding hull design and performance factors. Hull shape, dead rise, chinese, and center of gravity all play key roles in speed, stability, and comfort. Regular maintenance and smart weight distribution keep your boat running at its best. The real secret is combining knowledge with action. Choose wisely, maintain diligently, and adjust as you go. Every trip teaches you more about your boat's unique traits and how to refine its performance. Embrace the process and enjoy the freedom and thrill of a perfectly tuned boat.